This is Sparta! I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. The agent they murdered. 
You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bohm, an international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Hello everybody and welcome to Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now this is a first look. This game literally just came out at midnight. So I got in, got a chance to play a little bit, and I figure I record for you guys. See if you guys want to watch this. If you do, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely uh, make this a thing. We will do a Let's I'm Play series. I'll do the whole campaign if you guys feel faces. like it. Just let me know if you guys want to see this. Now, I had nothing to do with this game. I had no idea what this game was about. I have played some old Ghost Recon games back in the day. Uh, I think I tried to play some of the Advanced Warfighter stuff, and I just never got into it. Uh, but I did remember some of the fun games that I used to play on PlayStation 2, I believe was Ghost Recon, Jungle Storm, and stuff like that. But anyway, any game that I get in and I can drive four-wheel drives, I'm going to be a happy man. Now, right off the bat, you can see I'm swerving, just trying to get a feel for the controls. The controls are a little arcade-ish uh, as far as driving goes, but the, the reaction of the vehicle to the road is actually not too bad. It's just getting used to the uh, really, really quick steering and a uh, little bit unreal, well, not unrealistic really unrealistic steering and um, the throttle and brakes so once you get used to that you can actually drive pretty quickly in this game without too much trouble it's just you got to be careful because they do throw those bumps in there and there are physics in this game and you'll see me a couple times here have a little too much fun but it is really fun now I have no idea where I'm going at this point I'm literally just driving on the yellow line, which I'm assuming is a waypoint, which it actually ends up being. So, you know, you get lucky every once in a while. You just, you've played enough games over the years, you don't even need to, like, look at the tutorials or anything. You just kind of jump in and go. Now, here we're going to make a very unusual pass on the right side. I'm sure they had no idea what happened. You know, they're like, holy crap, what is this? I'm driving past them at very high speed on very sketchy roads. So, not bad. The handling is pretty decent. I mean, you can feel that you're on the, the loose mud. Uh, you slide quite a bit, especially... I'm not going to throw a spoiler. I'll wait. You guys, just stay tuned. Uh, if you want to see some fun driving... Oh, that was not it. There was me trying to power slide and be cool. And now I'm going to crash. And then I'm going to back up. And then I'm going to crash. And you can see the vehicles are fully destructible as well. Just crashing into the pole, it, it wrinkled the hood. Now, we get to get out. And... I use my teammates a little bit. I'm not big on using the computer very often. I like doing everything by myself. But this game loves... Yeah, I noticed you probably knew that cut was there. And I gotta say, the gunplay in this is actually really good. But it better be. That's what it's built on, right? The gunplay better be phenomenal. And it is. I mean, the gun, you, you point, it goes where you go. Now, I don't know if there's bullet drop over distance or anything, but at that short of a distance, there was nothing. That poor guy didn't even know what hit him. And yes, I'd already scouted these guys out twice. That cut you saw, I had up. failed twice. And the reason I failed twice, now here we have a uh, sink shot that we're going to have to make. I can't kill both of these guys at the same time, and I don't want to get detected. So I mark one of them for my buddy to shoot, and when I shoot this guy, he'll shoot the other. So, and there we get him. I try to go for the headshots whenever possible just to make sure that the guy doesn't get up. Chicken, you done crossed the line. <laughs> if you guys don't know why I just did that, you guys haven't been around me very long because every game that has chickens in it, I can't help it. It's like a, it's, I don't know, I have to kill the chickens. I have to. I think it was a thing since like Fable 2. You know, you have to kill the chickens. You just have to. But, but anyway, um, so we were marking the targets here and the target is the yellow guy. And the reason I failed multiple times, and here we got a guy that's doing some work. He's no, you know, he's a threat, but at the same time, you know, he's not really, and I'm kind of a jerk. That's a cute I wait for him to actually pick the thing up, and then I shoot him. That's just mean. I should have shot him before he picked it up. That way, you know, he doesn't have to work hard. But, you know, sometimes you got to be that extra jerk. But the yellow guy is the target, so don't kill that guy. Which means don't shoot him dead. And don't sneak up behind him and break his neck. That's very bad things to do when you need to interrogate somebody. I have specific orders not to kill that guy, but I've killed him twice. <laughs> so, the first time I shot him, and then it's like, hey, dude, you just killed the guy that you're trying to interrogate. The second time, I snuck up behind him like I'm doing now, 
and I hit the melee button instead of X. Get that again. So it clearly says X. Now we get it interrogated. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. All right. That's how you should end any good interrogation. Just knock the guy out, leave him lay in the mud. Shit, he's next to a fire. We're not being inhuman here, dead. you know. Maybe, he's next to a fire. He gave us everything we needed, and now we leave him alive. We'll him alive. Now, there are steps right there, but I'm about to use my little drone, chances. buddy, and we're going to do some scouting. I need to know exactly how many guys are down there and what I got to do to get through here. So we got two there. We've got one over there. That's three. Nobody back there. I see three so far. Nobody up in the tower or inside the buildings. Let's get moving. Uh, the birds are kind of weird looking. Around for us to track down and, and all right, so three guys, maybe four. Yep, there's the fourth guy straight down to my left. Now we got to be careful with how we take these guys out, and this is where you got to be strategic. You can't just shoot everybody because when you shoot everybody, they shoot back. But if you're strategic, they won't ever get a chance to shoot Ready. back. Call the shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the guy in the bottom left. Even though I marked him for my buddy, I'm actually going to take that shot myself because my other guy snuck up next to the other guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this guy out of here. And come on. Aim down sights, headshot, and down. Hostile down. That's a clean kill right there. When you drop him and he doesn't move and just kind of hunches forward, that's clean. Nobody will even notice that. Now, those two guys are my next kills because the other guy just went inside the building. So now I wait for my sink shot to cool off, and then I'll be able to uh, lock onto one of these guys, and then we can shoot them. So I throw the, the drone up again, and come on, cool down, and there we go. Now I mark him for the sink shot. And when it goes solid, that means they're in position, and they'll actually tell you, Say the word. hey, we're in position. So, now that means I'm ready to shoot my guy, and he'll shoot his guy. Three, two, Go one, on. target dead. dead. Well executed. We're good, we're good. No pun intended. Now, the last guy's inside the building. I keep an eye out just to see if he's going to pop out. He doesn't actually do it. We drop off a cliff about a 10-foot drop. That probably would have stung a little. But, you know, fine-tuned killing machine. You know, he's not he's not worried about a 10-foot drop. He's jumped further. You know, this guy's crazy. All right, so this guy's right there. Nice, clean shot right to the side of the head. And then I run across a busy road, and I just, you know, hey, look, a Jeep. Let's steal it. I roll in the mud because I heard a car coming, and I didn't realize these are all civilians. This is an actual road, so they're just like, all right, we're going. So, no big deal. Climb in the Jeep. Hang on, I'll drive. All my dudes run out in front of cars. A Subaru just about took them out. That, my friends, was a Subaru Liberty. So, now we get to have some fun. Look at these roads. The mud sticking to the Jeep. I mean, it's gorgeous. And handbrake turn. Oh, yeah. Getting her sideways. Having a lot of fun. Come on. Another hairpin turn coming back. This is known as switchbacks. If you guys don't know about mountains and mountain roads, these are called switchbacks. Look at that. Sideways. Oh, holy mackerel. Don't go that way. <laughs> that would have been a death. And I want to try to play as long as I can without dying. So, uh... You know, spoiler alert, hopefully I'm not dead. Preferably. Anyway, I love these kind of roads. That was a whole lot of fun. Now I realize that I took the wrong road, and I gotta go eh, four-wheel drive, cross-country, and back up onto the right road. I love games that make you uh, have fun. And there's a crash. You know, those little rally races, you know. How do people do that? Oh, that's the wrong road. Through the fence. Sorry, buddy. I'll pay you back eventually. Um, but he doesn't know that. As far as he knows, I'm going to pay him back. 
Now we're about to get a little bit squirrely over this next hill. You can see those little bumps that just catch you like that, right there. That could have been really bad, but, you know, keep it under control, get everything back. Those are just little jumps that just catch you off guard at the worst possible time. Kick the back end around and through the river we go, no problem whatsoever. This is a fully off-road capable vehicle. And slider onto the... Hey, don't mind me, I just got a busted hood. Now here's where I mess up. Like, I have no idea why these guys didn't start shooting at me, but I'll take it. I literally just realized that, hey, I'm at the bad guy's place. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Um, yeah. Don't mind. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. Nope. Can't rock crawl in it. That's all we were trying to do. Just tried to rock crawl. That was totally what I wanted to try to do. Hey, look. Let's go this way. Yeah, here's some thick bushes. Let's just park the Jeep in here. Nobody saw anything. <laughs> right? Nobody saw anything. Now. Let's throw the drone. The, we're in a cow field, and I kind of get a little bit uh, lost on the direction I w I'm supposed to be going. And then I realize I'm supposed to go the other direction here. But I throw the drone up, and I'm looking. I'm like, wait, this isn't where I just came from. Where do I Oh, okay, right there. Pow. All right. There's where we need to go. We got helicopter there. Got we got tango. multiple bad guys. Take lots and lots of bad guys. Five. And the hostage is in there somewhere. We must get him. Tutorial for stealth. Hello, Spartan Elite 43. I am a stealth master. I am the master of stealth. S uh, Solid Snake got nothing on me. I'm, I'm the stealth master. So we're going to go sneak up on these guys. I got to say, like the, the terrain and stuff looks pretty good. Um, it's kind of like a... I like how everything kind of moves on its own. You know, a lot of times you'll get that little um, shimmy. Everything shimmies the same direction, and it kind of looks fake. But these, you got stuff blowing different direction. I like it. I like it a lot. But I also like how stuff gets out of your way when you walk into it. You know. Hey, we got a narco. So hopefully the bushes and stuff do provide cover. Them. I'm assuming they do. Deploying drone. So we're in a big bush, and up goes the drone. Now we have a little bit closer so we can see a little better. We know there's a tango in the, the shed with tango the uh, hostage, which is not nearby. preferable. Because if stuff goes sideways, we need to protect the hostage at all costs. So, my plan of action. Kill the guy in the middle while he's in the field so that he's hidden. And... Come on, baby. Oh, he looks at me. Tango yep, down. shot him in the face. Sorry, brother. Better next or better luck next next. Good lord, Spartan, professional, sneak. All right, guy goes into the building. I got one narco. Easy. Just kind of crouch. Now we crawl. Got a belly crawl through the mud. That's probably not preferable. That's gonna probably lead to an infection of some sort. So <laughs> we head over here. I should have shot a hog right here, but I was afraid. There's a lot of dudes and the dudes next to the hostage can't shoot a hog gotta concentrate remember none of the ADD stuff <laughs> oh look a butterfly no, just kidding <laughs> anyway bad guy oh crap he's looking at me and oh guy on the left is looking at me too oh no bad things are happening lots of bad things are happening I shot the thing and things are bad and oh now I missed him Spartan what happened to your accuracy you're gonna get the hostage killed. No, I'm not. I'm going in here specifically to. Hello, buddy. Right in the back street. <laughs> Hello. Oh, whoa, whoa. Little left. Come on. Reloading. Guys popping up. Oh, get your. Get down, Spartan. Good lord. You're gonna die. And in classic Ghost Recon fashion, you know, just disappear for a second and you'll be fine. All right, Baldy. Stick your head back up. There it is. Shoot it. Got him. <laughs> it's classic AI, man. And I know I'm on normal because I haven't played a ghost. Tri Hello, buddy. Oh, a little left. And then I shot the... See, that's something that I got to watch because the clipping isn't very good. Um, so, yeah. Now we free the hostage. There we go. 
Hello. Are you the dude? Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. All right. Now, everybody, let's get out of here. Should we take the Jeep? Nah, I got a better idea. Somebody left a helicopter here for me. Yes, you can fly the helicopter, guys. Now, I've never flown a helicopter. I've never flown anything in, in uh, Ghost Recon, so I look at the little uh, controls. I'm like, ah, how hard can it be? <laughs> throttle goes up. Left throttle goes down. Move with the left trigger. Let go of the right go. throttle and move to do quick turns. Pretty simple, easy. Everybody's in. Let's go. Let's hope we don't crash. Oh, okay. Other way, Spartan. Other way. <laughs> there we go. Now we're moving. Um, now, a word of advice. The controls are slightly delayed in flying. So, when you're holding forward, release forward every once in a while. Hold the right trigger, but release forward. Because otherwise, you end up doing what I'm about to do, and uh, you'll, you'll probably be puckered up. Oh, dear Lord. It looks fine, right? It looks perfectly fine until you do this. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're grazing the trees. Wow. <laughs> that was some, that was, that was flawlessly executed is what it was. Yeah. It takes expert pilots to be able to graze the treetops like that. It keeps you from being locked on by Sam's. I don't know who Sam is, but he likes to lock on and shoot people down. So, stay away from Sam. Stay low to the ground. Now, I don't know if Sam's in this game or not, but I imagine he is probably later. Now, again, skimming the treetops, just enjoying the view. And we're getting a lot closer to our destination in a hurry. I should take this chopper everywhere. And pull back. Classic. Slows down all your momentum in a chopper. And then just land in that nice big parking lot. It's almost like they knew you were going to grab the helicopter. Why is it the bad guys just leave helicopters sitting around? You know? That kind of seems important. Now they were loading stuff, probably drugs, into this. So I just did two things with one. I brought all the drugs with me. Brought the hostage back, completed the first mission of the game. Not bad. Here's where you can change your loadout and you can take equipment. I'm just assuming take equipment is reload, so I hit boots. that. And then I realized that I just got a sniper rifle. Oh yeah, sniper rifle. I love snipers, always have. Used to be a beast of a sniper in Call of Duty back in the day. And then I grab ammo while I'm here. And then let's end the mission. Extract. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only sell run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. All right, so that was Ghost Recon Wildlands. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. We'll do Let's Plays. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.